Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today we're hitting a lot of space weather stuff, earthquake notes, tropical development update in the Caribbean, and three Earth observation evidence stories that we need to hit before we close out today. But we are starting with the last 24 hours on our star, and we find that there was a large coronal ripple on the north, far side eruption. No significant solar flares on this side of the sun, though. All is quiet geomagnetically and in the solar wind as well. Got a bit snappy amidst the tiny active regions turning in, but no CME was released. They still haven't gained complexity and would need to in order to do more than this today. Up next, let's check out 211 angstroms and focuses on the left. Corona hole signature incoming, and it looks like it's a major one. Solid size, reaching up past the equator. It'll be facing Earth early next week. We're going to be watching her turn in over the next few days. Now, back to that coronal ripple. We went over this far side eruption in the live show last night. Live solar tracking was fun, wasn't it? Good thing this wasn't aimed at Earth. While we can't know the flare class, we can tell it was a tremendous burst. Maximum velocity clocked at over 2,000 kilometers per second. Would have been a very significant solar storm if that had come our way. It is also driving high energy protons to surge through the solar system. This is when a CME has an even more expansive impact via high energy particles, not in the shock wave, but spread and curved around the line of sight by the interplanetary magnetic fields. It's what we're taking this morning. Little seismic note, bit of a blood echo uptick here. Didn't really get the uptick in pressure release I was expecting in the summertime. Eyes open for increased seismicity returning here over the next week. Tropical development in the Caribbean up next. Models have shifted quite a bit for this churning vapor and now Jamaica has been put on alert. A much more western track than we had yesterday. Eyes open for any track shifts here again. Folks, these red sprites are gorgeous, rare, and even rarer in New Zealand. The increasing record-breaking lightning activity and expansive territory of unusual lightning sightings is part of the atmospheric electrical amplification in this ongoing geomagnetic event, the magnetic pole shift unfolding now. For those who know Campi Flegri is my top scary volcano for this magnetic pole shift cycle, they have recently found previously unfound fault systems encircling the volcano. It is likely that what will finally cause the upwelling magma surge that sets off the volcano will be a large earthquake. And lastly today, folks, it happened again. I don't know if SpaceWeather.com and Dr. Tony Phillips have a short memory or they're just choosing not to mention this, but this ultra rare event keeps happening. And it's not during major solar storms, which is the only time the SAR arcs are supposed to be seen like this. They're nearly impossible to see with the naked eye, by the way, and yet this one was easily seen with the naked eye. They are confused, but I bet a lot of you are not. Why did a little G2 storm set this off? Because our planet is struggling and a lot closer to magnetic collapse than most realize. It's the number one topic of conversation on our winter tour coming up. Tickets are available below. This is a four hour masterclass on surviving the coming magnetic disaster event on Earth. Five cities in five months. Get your tickets at the link below. Also, I'd like to mention that Friday and Saturday at Observer Ranch, we have an educator preview day, tours, booths, and ways to enhance your students' learning experiences. Parents, especially homeschool parents, very much welcome as well. Link to that educator day is below, and I will definitely be out there this weekend. And we only have a few events left this year at Observer Ranch. Self-offense training November 1st after the Halloween event. Observer speed dating 2.0, the 7th and the 8th. Come find your prepper princess or post-apocalyptic warlord. Film premiere and last pole shift conference of the year, middle of the month. Come out for the end of our rookie season, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.30 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.